You're not going to believe this modern interpretation of this timeless design. Let's light it up. What you, what you got there? No, nothing. Just a new Jack Wolf knife. Is that That's a flippy? Gunslinger Jack, yeah. So everybody knows um, Jack Wolf knives, and what they've been making has been more modern styled classic slip joint knives. So yeah. with modern handle materials, we're talking titanium, modern blade steel with S90V and fat carbon, or and some some of them micarta. He switched over to just fat carbon now. But this one, and if you watched any of our blade show coverage, uh, you got to kind of hear some of the backstory behind it. And it's actually really cool. So apparently a year ago, he kind of had this idea that he wanted to make a flipper, but wanted to do it in a classic design and wanted to make it a little different. And so he started sketching it out, started catting it out, and um, this is what he came up with. And I got to say, he sent me a video and, and sent me a preview of this about a month and a half ago, before Blade Show, and asked me what I thought about it. And I thought that thing was absolutely gorgeous. Like, he absolutely nailed that. I know you've been in love with it because you didn't, I mean, I had mentioned it to you, but I think you forgot about it. And then we walked over to the booth while, like, the day that everybody was setting up for Blade Show. And we flicked it out for the first time, and you said, what did you just do? Yeah, it definitely, well, I thought, you know, they look just like the other slip joints. Show the show the back, the spine of that. So he actually made a backspacer that is full length to make it have the appearance of like a back spring. And it is uh, color matched to the pocket clip and to the handle material. And if you don't want the pocket clip on there, you can actually swap out the pocket clip for this little filler piece right back here in the tail end of it. Um, so that just slides right in there. And you've got a little filler piece that is also color matched as well. I think that's really cool. You know, I'd asked him if he submitted this into any awards and he didn't. I would have found it hard to believe this didn't win something. Yeah. If he had, if he would have. This is by far, this is what we've been looking for. Yeah. We both collect traditionals and here it is. We both like flippy, fidgety knives. Yeah. And it's like, we've, we've literally said it since like day one we've been here. It's like, why can't somebody make a traditional... Yeah. And he did it. So basically what he did was he took his, um, the sharpshooter jack that he made, which was the first design that he came out with about a year and a half, two years ago, and scaled it up a bit so that the action would work properly and so that the pivot would work properly and the lockup would work properly. Scaled it up so that it would feel right in the hand. And this is what he ultimately came up with. So it's a full titanium design with fat carbon handle scales. We've got five different variants of it. We've got it in Purple Haze. We've got it in Arctic Storm. I think it's in Lava Flow. There's several different colors, but really well done, really gorgeous. And uh, that one's coming in at about 350. And just a fantastic knife. I tell you what, it's it's one of my favorites that I've seen recently, so. Yeah. Um... If my budget was better, I'd already picked this one up, but we bought more than what we should have at Blade Show. Yep. So those will be available on the 18th of June. Friday the 18th of June, they are going to drop. They have always uh, already been released to the world, and everybody's already been, been able to see them at Blade Show, but uh, that's a really nice one. And of course, they're coming in the Gunslinger tube, just like the rest of them, I, with the artwork um, and the pogs and the cleaning cloth. Just very, very well done. Another one that I wanted to show, and this one's one that I'm really excited about. I actually have had this one for a little over a month now, since we actually made our trip to uh, see our warehouse. And I've been searching for this one for a really long time. They don't make a lot of these. And so they did a run of these. We got 20 of them. We have them available now. It is the Microtech UTX-70 Bounder Hunter Bound, bounder hunter? Bounder hunter. Wow. Bounty hunter. Uh, out the front automatic with the Hellhound Tonto blade. Um, and 
I, I love this one. It goes right along with my Bounty Hunter Exo set. Uh, I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, and it's, of course, got the uh, Boba Fett logo right there and got the kind of Bounty Hunter color scheme to go along with it, and I absolutely dig this. What's interesting about this one, and when I first showed my wife this knife, she goes, ooh, it's a teeny stab stab. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, well, yeah, kind of, but not really. I mean, this is... It's still one of three, it's three and a half. It's small compared to what we've gotten used to in, in modern, you know, out the front autos. But here's another, I, I, and I, I urge you to take this into consideration. So this is my papa's, you know, normal size case stockman right there that, uh, I mean, we can compare it to. And so this was kind of the standard knife for a really long time uh, that a lot of farmers, that a lot of uh, ranchers actually worked with. And so that's going to be approximately the same size. I mean, maybe a little bit wider, uh, but ultimately the same size right there. Then when you actually deploy the blade and actually have the blade out on this Stockman, really pretty close to the same size right there. So, look, we're not comparing here. <laughs> we're not comparing here. That's gonna make me feel very insecure. Anyways, um, so, I mean, yes, it's small, but not really compared to what used to be normal. Anyways, I, I don't know how to answer after that. I don't know why, I don't, I don't know why you gotta do it there. <laughs> We've got some, uh, you know, we've got a lot of new new, and uh, the next new new is a big new new. So a lot of you actually guessed right in our comments. We've got our new X Wing. It is now been made available. So we had the prototypes at Blade Show. We sold those. This one actually is mine. Um, and I guess there, I, I was under the impression that there might be some cosmetic changes. There are not, are not going to be any cosmetic changes. However, we are going to be offer the, offering these in different blade shapes. Um, and the first one that we made available was the double edge. These are also going to be coming in the Tonto, partially serrated, drop point. So there will be multiple blade shapes made available in this configuration. This is the Ultratech M390 on the blade steel. And 6061T6 aluminum on the handles. That is milled right there. That is not just painted. That is milled. Um, all of those lines. And really, I got to say, Microtech and Wayne over at Microtech in their Cerakote shop knocked this one out of the park with the finish that they did. Because, I mean, if you've ever watched Star Wars, there was no X-Wing that was not dirty. Because, I mean, it's the Rebel Alliance. They were, you know... They were using stolen goods to fight against. Yeah, it's got a great finish on it. Uh, I was really impressed with how the milling came out on it because one thing that is it's hard to give justice until it's in hand is like you can see the the grooves in there. On pictures, yeah. it looks like it might just be like a, a printed yeah. picture, but it is not. That is the real thing. And just like you say in that little touch of black on there that darkness, gives it yeah. a good distress look to show that show everybody that you've been through the the galaxy and back yeah so, you've been fighting the death star uh it, it was a hit we ended up having uh we we thought we were only going to get 10 then we thought we only got 40 we ended up having 59 55 <laughs> 55 and we, yeah. we sold all of them so um we are excited to get the production run in uh, they will. We will have different options on the yeah. blades when they come. And that's in. also where the the change is going to come in because if you look here on the back side here, um, you'll see that this one says prototype right there, and it's got the birth date on it and X wing. So the actual production ones will have a serial number on them, just like any other Microtech. But outside of that, they're going to be largely the same. So really proud of that one. Really happy with how those turned out, and uh, happy with how popular they were. Um, even if some people were kind of butthurt and upset that we were in cosplay costumes. Um, or thought that we were Ghostbusters. Or thought that we were <laughs> Ghostbusters. You know, it's okay. <laughs> um, so, we got some more stuff on here. Let's talk about a brand that's kind of newish to us uh, and 
that's making some cool stuff now. Yeah, so we actually talked to these guys at Blade Show, and we're going to be getting more of their products in, but this is a new brand to SMKW. And I uh, really like the stuff that they're doing. Now, the cool thing about this one is I brought this one into the office a couple weeks ago when we first tried to shoot this video, and I handed it to you, and I said, I want you to get your opinion on this and see what you think about it and see how much you think that knife costs. And you were estimating somewhere between $150 and $200, uh, which would be a fair estimate because we're talking G10 on the handles. We're talking really cool grinds on the blade, really good action. It is a liner lock, really cool backspacer right there. Premium pocket clip. Really nice pocket clip right there um, that's made into the handle. So uh, really, really well done there. And D2 on the blade steel right there. So this one's coming in at just 79 bucks and a really good action. And I, I made it a point to talk to them about, you know, they've got some higher end stuff from Beg, but also they're making it a point to make stuff available to the market that is going to be great for this economy. Mm -hmm. And I really dig that they're doing that. Uh, this one's coming in with uh, 7.2 inches overall, three inches on the blade length. Um, two and a two and three quarters inch on the actual cutting edge there, so and it does it does give off an appearance on the camera that it is a double edge, but it is not. It is not. It wouldn't take much to sharpen that right there, though. No, I'd say you could probably get that on your work sharp and just pull out that four hundred grit and make yeah. make your way down. You go to town, by God. Probably get it. So I really like that one. Which one do you want to talk about next? Ah. Uh, Fireman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they call me the Fireman. That's my name. So this is the Ontario Rat 1, and uh, this is their new Red Rat 1. I really dig this one. I, I like how bright it is. I mean, the Rat 1 has been kind of a standard as far as size comparison goes. Rat 1, Rat 2, Rat 3. This one is an upgraded model, so you're getting the red G10 handles. Uh, Four-way pocket clip, which is really cool and S35VN on the blade steel. All of that for under a hundred bucks, ninety nine yep. ninety five. This was my value choice yeah. winner when we filmed this for the first time. Absolutely. It's, it's, a, it's a hunky knife that feels like it's gonna do you good while you're using it. You, you don't feel like it's got any really weak points in yeah. it. Yeah, no, it's, it's real solid, great liner lock. Um, got a good blade shape, very usable. I mean, it's... You're not going to lose it either. No, no, absolutely not. Red's my favorite color. I really dig it, and um, I like that one a lot. I, like that. that's a, that's I know you a don't like size price. comparisons. <laughs> okay. That's cute. I don't, I don't know why you hate me. Are you mad yourself? I don't understand. You know, you don't really see a four-way pocket clip that often. No. That's... I mean, and when people ask, you know, this is one that comes to mind, and Spyderco. That's really the main ones that come to mind when you think four-way pocket clip. And the action on this one is fantastic. You can reverse flick it, if you're not me. Um, and it just, I mean, it works. It's a, it's a great all-around knife, great all-around materials, and really good price for good quality materials there i dig yeah it. it's uh if it i, I think they kill it with some uh, green g10 on that maybe a tan coated blade tan coated <laughs> <laughs> those are good As if everybody else hadn't already done that yeah so we got a new bally song that we've been uh teased about um, this has been in the works for like two years yeah I feel like. so i forgot we even had these coming yeah um so the folks at BRS have another company, in case you didn't know, called Revo, where they make modern folders. Well, they wanted to come out with their own Revo, which is a little more budget-minded, budget-friendly line of Bala songs, but still have a lot of the premium qualities that you can find in, in the BRS line. And what they were able to do with this is not only make it affordable, but also make it American made. And that's a big, big deal right there. Now, uh, what's the price on this one, Greg? Remember on that one? It's the next red. Next red? 
next red n e x r e d it's to get my attention when i'm editing it <laughs> so you don't just blow through that 21150 $2 right there so this one's coming in at $211.50 and 154 cm on the blade steel american made and i mean really good looking and you're talking sandwich uh, on the construction right there and a really good action. I mean, that's that's definitely a hole that's been left in the uh, in the market for ballot songs, and I think that's really cool that they're doing that. What do you think about that one? It's bright, shiny. I know these things. We've got run, a bunch of different colors too. I know these things uh, run for a lot, so the fact that there's more budget-friendly ones, that was, you know, when we did these ballet competitions and have them here, still a lot of kids trying to get into this, and it's really kind of hard for their parents to be like, okay, let's get you into this, and then they realize the knife's like two hundred fifty dollars, three hundred dollars, six hundred for example, six hundred, eight hundred. It's it's hard to just step into it. This is pretty sure Corbin spent north of a thousand on a couple of them. Yeah, so, I mean, from my standpoint, they're not my cup of tea, uh, but they are a lot of people's tea. <laughs> yeah, a lot of and, people drink that tea. Yeah, so I like the American flag on it right there. Denoting that it's made in the USA. USA, USA. USA. All right, so like it, love it, yep. great bargain. I'm sure it'll make a lot of people happy. Absolutely. And next up, we got another American made right here. And this is my deal of the day right here. Deal of the day. So, tell me what you think about that one oh, before I tell you how much. Well, you got us a single blade. We've been suckers for single blades here lately. Just, I think it's pretty. You know, it's I like a, it a lot. Now, that is genuine stag, which is something that's stag. hard to come by. A stag, baby. Stag. I like, I like, the, uh, I like the shield on it. Uh, it's, it's good quality. And I want to go ahead and tell you this. So usually we don't, we don't give this away. This one's coming in at $74.99. It's coming with the collectible 10 as well from Case, um, which is also very sought after as well, making it a little bit more collectible than just the regular, you know, cardboard box. But also we've got a deal on these in the showroom and in the showroom only for like 59 bucks. Whoa. Yeah. So okay. if you get a chance to come into the store, that's that's something that we can't do online. But we are able to do in store right now as of the filming of this. So that's going to last for at least a couple of weeks, a few weeks. And um, so that's, I mean, that's a smoking hot deal right there. But even at the full retail um, of seventy four ninety nine, that's that's still a really good deal because those st genuine stag handles from Case are stag. that you uh, don't run across very often. So. Yeah. I like it. It's one of those knives that's a good Sunday knife. That's a good uh, good carry around. It's not going to, you know, offend people. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we've got another American made right here from Buck. And this is, of course, from their limited edition series. And so this one is a lockback. G10 on the handles. It is a lockback. And uh, this one's coming in with the Boss Heat Treat on the S45VN blade. And you can see 2023 limited edition right there stamped on the blade. Really cool knife. I love the chipped handles. I mean, that's something that we've been seeing a lot in like the bushcraft community and bushcrafter knives. But, um, I mean, this one's just beautiful. And, of course, with it being a limited edition, this is going to be a great collector. Also, the pliability, the, this is such a nice sheath. It's so soft. It's like a baby peach. Are you taking my segment away from oh, me? Oh, that smells like a leather shop, doesn't it? It smells like a leather shop, and I love it. We're going to have to charge three fifty for this one because it's been sniffed by both of us. Yeah, this one's actually coming in at three twenty four ninety nine. This one's going to be three fifty because it's had both of our noses in it, and that is a deal of a steal. Steal of a deal. You can smell it from here. <laughs> You so, can smell the deal from here. So uh, we have saved the biggest for last, I believe. No, we no. haven't. Well, we're going. Okay, we're going we're to. We're though. going to. <laughs>
Those... Apparently. So, um, if you had money, what would you do? I'd go downtown and buy a Mercury or two. One of these two? Because I'm crazy <laughs> about a Mercury. And we've got some new knives from Mercury here, made in Maniago, Italy. And one of the big trends that we've seen in the last year, year and a half, has been pocket carry fixed blades. And that's exactly what Mercury did with these two knives. Um, one being the sheep's foot, one being the clip point, and really cool sheets to go along with those that have the pocket carry clip on them. So that's going to be really easy to just slip down in your pocket right there. You can draw it out, and you've got your uh, nice small fixed blade ready to go. And I can still get, like just barely, but I can still get four fingers on that handle right there and don't have to worry about getting cut by it but i mean it fits in my hand coming in with n690 on the blade steel and these are both coming in at 99 bucks really yeah 99 bucks huh wow and we've got several different handle materials so we've got like the the green micarta we've got the jade g10 we've got the natural micarta and I want to say there's one other color. I could be wrong, but I think there's one other color. And like we got, like I said, the sheep's foot and the clip point. And I really, really the, dig them. Them Italians, they're big on that crowning, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. You're not striking a ferro rod with that. No. But, I mean, you might be able to do, do it with a blade. <laughs> you hate that idea, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you won't have much ferro rod after that. The way I look at it is, uh, if I need a fire bat enough, I don't mind doing do that. Do whatever you need to yeah. do. Yeah, but I mean, most of the time I'm going to have a lighter anyway, so... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you keep one of these for like worst case scenario, you fell off a waterfall and everything's soaked and wet. And yeah. That's the only thing you got, so... And you keep one of these as a worst case scenario as well. Jesus. Um... <laughs> So, this is our new Rough Rider big-ass buoy. Yeet. <laughs> <laughs> um, Rough Rider 2272. Actually, we don't even have this one online yet. Uh, this one, Tony just gave it to me yesterday to do promotions with, and I was like, Jesus. I don't even think we need to get an up close. I, I mean, we can't. It won't fit in the screen. So, I mean. It's a paddle. It's it a spatula. It's whatever you need it to be, and it's got a huge honking leather sheath to go along with it. So, so that one's coming in at forty nine ninety nine. Nice, that's really cool. Forty nine ninety nine to get a big ass knife like that. All in one. I'm digging it. Yeah, absolutely. That is huge. So, uh, looks like we got some uh, wood and some. You got about twenty five dollars in leather material. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. And this is a full tang as well. So full tang all the way. Past the hill, all the way to the tip. Let us know which one of these uh, you would like to have. Which one are you taking home? This one. <laughs> this one. Without a doubt. No question. Without a doubt. Well, I guess I can't take that one now. The deal of the day is probably this OKC for $100. That's 35 Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Forgot about that. Late to mention. Let me see that. New brand, alert. We just put in an order and uh, really excited to announce Crispy Donut. Um, I've actually been carrying some Crispy Donut knives lately. This one right here was sent to me as a prototype. It is a uh, Crispy Donut Salvation. These are being made OEM by Kubi, and Kubi's doing a great job. Crispy Donut's doing a great job. If you haven't checked them out, check them out. Crispy Donut Community on Instagram, on Facebook and on their website, crispydonutcommunity.com. Um, they're doing some really cool stuff, and if you haven't checked out their patches yet, that's what's really cool. They've got a really neat backstory. Check out our Blade Show coverage to see uh, kind of a backstory uh, of how they got started doing this back uh, during the pandemic. So really cool story and really cool products that I'm really excited to be getting in the store now. So, Yeah. Yeah. And guys, uh, let us know below which one is your favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yep. And don't forget, if it cuts, we carry it. Love you.